five now. We're going to keep this session open. I'm just going to make it a little bit smaller so we can look at the two different sessions that we're going to have open. And then to create a new session, we're going to go system and create session. So now we have two different sessions open. Keep the material list open as it was where we just left off. And then in the second session, we'll go logistics, production, SOP for product group, or sorry, I missed one, planning for product group. Then create, that should bring us to this screen. We should have our number, then energy group, and our number, then PT for plant. Click on the check mark. Then in here, um, it's going to give us a version number. Write your version number down. Because we're going to need them later. Um, okay, so once we have them, click on the enter button. And that should bring us to this, uh, this screen. Here, we're going to leave this, uh, this column blank. The next month over, we're going to enter 10. The next month beside that, we'll enter 30. And the next month beside that, we'll enter 50. So blank, 10, 30, 50. We don't hit enter just yet. Um, then we'll go edit. Create production plan, synchronous to sales, and that will add um, a, a row of production that matches the sales. Once you've done that, go down to target stock level. We're going to put blank for the first uh, column, then 5, then 15, then 25. And that's for our target stock level. Uh, then next, After we've done that, we'll edit, create production plan, target stock level. And that should fill in the rest for us. So we can click on save, oops, save, and you should see plan saved under version and then whatever your number was. And that should match the, the number that you had. And that is the end of step number five.